Hi there, and welcome back. I am on page 30 in the workbook, and we are ready to start question number 23. And there's a story that goes with this one, so I'm going to read that carefully, and then we'll do the math. Chad is buying a car for $5,000 from a used car dealership. The table shows the total simple interest that will be paid for the first nine months. So one thing that we have to know about this, this table, and this is very important, this is not interest paid, it's total interest paid. And this is what's called a cumulative total, meaning that in March he paid $90 interest, in April, $180 interest. So the April amount includes April and March. That $180 is $90 for two months. So in November, it's not saying that he paid $810. It's saying that for the months up to and including November, he paid $810. So what this is telling me is that he's paying $90 per month in interest. Okay. So the first question asks us to find this simple interest rate. Well, if the interest, which is a part, is 90, and the whole amount that he financed is 5,000, we have what we need here. If we use our percent proportion, or whatever means you're doing percents, it doesn't have to be this one, but this is the one that I've taught you, so if you're using it, it should work fine. So that's 100 times 90, that's 9,000, divided by that 5,000, and that's going to give you, I believe, 1.8, but let me be sure. Yes, 1.8%. So there's your percentage rate. Just be careful when you go to choose an answer. Because B is 1.8 monthly and C is 1.8 yearly. Well, remember, your interest is $90 per month. So this is 1.8 monthly, and that will be answer B. It's very important that you pick the right one there because they're both 1.8s, but you gotta pick the right unit. 24, what is the total interest paid for one year? Well, if he's paying $90 a month, how many months are in a year? There are 12. So 90 times 12 is $1,080 in interest per year. So for this one, I would go with option C. All right, I'm going to stop the video and I'll get number 25 when we come back.